Okay guys, this is going to be an interesting video. I got a request to, to do a makeup tutorial. Um, this is the best setup that I can do for this. Um, so we're just going to give it a shot and I'll break it down play by play um, for you guys at home. And... Hope you guys enjoy this and go through it with me. Um, this is, first of all, the first part of it is a basic routine. So, that goes with every look. It's part of every one of my looks. So, we're just going to start there. Um, like I said, this was a request, so I'm going to do the best I can for you guys. So here we go. And just so you guys know, I am a makeup hoarder. I have a lot of makeup. I got some from one of my drag sisters. Um, and I have two cases of makeup. So yeah, this is going to be fun, guys. All right, here we go. This is my makeup tutorial for tonight. Like I said, um, the base that I do is for every one of them, but then it changes when we get a little further on for every look. So, I'm going to do the one for tonight. So, here we go. Um, hope you guys can see this, okay? And I'll zoom in on some parts if I need to. But I'm going to be using my mirror over here, so hopefully you guys like it and hopefully this works. So, first of all, um, we have, and a lot of this makeup was, fortunately, was given to me, which is awesome. awesome. We have, I don't know if you guys can see this, this is foundation primer. It's good to prime the face first. So that's where we're going to start. And a little goes a long way. Um, you can apply it with different things. I'm just going to use what I have. So. Just kind of put some dots. On your face. Not everywhere. But just put some on your face. And it's going to look ridiculous for a little bit of course but you'll see why I do what I'm doing um just because this is the easiest way to do it so I've got the primer on and then we're gonna go ahead and take because I have a lot of pads and brushes. We're just going to take like a foundation pad that you would use and just kind of spread the primer on your entire um, face. And this takes me a minute. So I will be right back, but you guys, this is just what you do, just blend the primer in to cover the whole face. I'm going to finish blending it in, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and that primer is blended in with my trusty little pad here, um, and next I'm going to use this concealer for a couple different spots like under my eyes is really where I use it this is covergirl ready set gorgeous um and I am very pale so this works perfect for me you just apply a little bit or at least this is how I do it underneath your eye again a little bit goes a long way and so we're just gonna do that and then 
you're just going to take your same pad because it's not going to hurt and you're just going to blend and blend that in and I like to do it on my eyelid too just because a little goes a long way that coverage is very very nice I'm going to finish blending this in and I will be right back Okay, now that I've got the primer down, the base primer, I am going to use this wonderful powder that I got from Lady Houston. I consider it my setting powder. It's Neutrina, Neutrogena Healthy Skin Press Powder. I live, I don't know how I did not have this stuff before. It is amazing, I love it. I love it. And my phone fell. Hang on just a second, guys. Sorry, I know I'm horrible at this because I don't quite have the right setup I need. And this is probably going to be a two-part video. But that's okay. So we'll just call part one the base. So I'm going to go ahead and use my my setting powder and just dip in there and blend, blend, blend this in. Because if you don't, it will look very, very weird. Um, and you can do the setting powder to set the foundation in, which is the cream foundation that I use. I'm setting the base in right now, so we're just going to do a light coat because I'm doing it a little bit differently, and I did that with this trusty brush pad thing this foundation works perfectly for me it's color mates it's a light medium it's a cream foundation again I live I don't know how I live without this so you just take another little sponge brush and dip it in there and a little goes a long way just apply it and blend it throughout your whole face so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera but you apply it and blend it um, in your face, make sure it's all even, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 